this test alone will be quite a big one for Lams for St. Luhau. Chung Tsui and Huang Yechong, of course, three time world champions. This is probably one of their favorite tournaments to play in. They won it in 2018, 2019, and of course are the defending champions from 2022. The only time they lost early was in 2021 when they lost to Chang Chak Ching and Eng Wing Lung of Hong Kong China in three games. That was in the second round. There they are, the defending champions, ready to get their world championships campaign underway. In 2017, they won silver when they lost to Ahmed and Natsir in three games. And the opponents. Wow. They From are Germany. unstoppable at Isabel the moment. Lohau. So these two, Lamsfuss and Lohau, certainly will have their work cut out. They're playing, of course, in their sixth World Championships as well, but were bronze medalists last year. Lancers and Loa got to the semi-finals and lost to Watanabe and Higashino in Japan, which was their best ever showing, Bronya, at a World Championship. So that is something to take confidence from. I mean, I know you're playing the world number ones and the defending champions, but the fact that they have a bronze medal in this tournament is certainly a big confidence-boosting thing. Yeah, they definitely have been one of the strongest European pairs for a while. Mark, I think, is coming back from a small knee surgery. So I don't think Have he's at his best form. But, you know, they've been there before. They they have been at a super high okay. level. So Juan. I'm sure they, have they have confidence that they can compete closely with red. these guys. Black. This is their third meeting. As you saw there, Zhang and Huang, 2-0. They head-to-head. Head. Zhang will receive. Right. And you saw the Germans win the toss. Isabel choosing to serve to Zheng Suwei and the Chinese pair holding on to the far end of the court. That's where they put their bags down in. And they will play there. And Zheng Suwei now, 26 years of age, still so young. I know. <laughs> and has uh, got a lot of badminton in him still from Zhejiang, China. World number one with his partner Huang Yechong, something they've enjoyed on and off since August of 2018. That's how dominant these two have been in the mixed doubles category. I still remember when he played with Chen Ching Chen at the start. It seems like this is still a new partnership, <laughs> but it's really not. Yeah, they've been partners for quite some time and have won pretty much everything there is to win, except for the Olympic gold, which mm. is on their hit list, I'm sure, in Paris. Huang Yechong, now 29, and uh, she, of course, also from Zhejiang, China, have a win-loss record of 32 to 5 in 2023. So they've lost just five matches this year. In the second round, they have an 8-0 win-loss record. So have yet to lose a second round match. If that doesn't read for even more foreboding numbers for Mark Glamsfus, and Isabel Lohau. Lamps was the younger of the two at 29 from Wipperforth in Germany. Ranked 24 in the world at the moment. Have gone up to number seven, so they've broken into the top 10 in the mixed doubles. That tells you about their quality. That was back in November of 2022. Isabel Lohau, 31 from Hersbruch in Germany. They have a win-loss record of 7 to 10 in 2023, but what doesn't make for happy reading is that the second round win
Yeah, really nice count. Isabel. It's pulled out. Hey, hey, hey. Eight, six. He was quite out of position. Lamb's first service over. Yeah. He knew it. Seven. He was pretty much standing up on the service line on the other side. Not ready for anything coming over. Yeah, he was actually just moving forward still. <laughs> well, well read and seen by Jung Soe there. Good vision to see where the gaps were. And they leveled the score. Jung and Huang. Oh. And trailing for the early part of this opening game. I think it's just a matter of time. They find their footing. She's on the floor. Isabel Lohau trying to defend her Nine, way through that. Eight. Again, really good vision by Jung Sulwei to see how much Isabel was creeping in and to just go right over with that punch clear. That was a great shot. Yeah, that set it all up. <laughs> Longest rally of the match so far, 32 shots. It's uh, keeping it really tight. Service over, nine all. Staying ahead just about. That's exactly what they need to do. They're not allowing their opponents too much space. Caught. Because they can be as dangerous Service as that. Over. Ten. All. When jumps the way jumps out, it just reminds me of like a snake attacking. You know how they just spring out of nowhere? He just looks like he's chilling and then boom, he's just moved like two <laughs> meters across the court. Well, they hold on Service to the over. narrow lead at the break. 11-10, Lamsfus and Lohau. Staying ahead of the number one seeds. In the opening half of the first game. You do fantastic. You are coming first. We are solving our tasks. That's so good. That is really, really, really good. And every time we're a little in trouble, whoop, we play it into court. Yeah, just play with them. Yeah. Yeah, you're crushing them in the midcourt. Yes. Yeah. As long as we dare to keep coming forward. Especially you, of course, because the court can be big. Court That's fine. two, 20 seconds. No, court two, uh, 20 seconds. Very good. Yeah. Well class. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Coach, return to your chair, please. A very happy coach. Yeah, very positive words there from their coach. 11-10. Why not? They're leading against the world number ones. Play. I think that coach also won like the European Coach of the Year or some sort of award recently for what he's been doing with the, the German national team, especially the doubles category. So 12, 10. Yeah, a win like this could could definitely reinforce his his credentials. Service over, 11, 12. 12, all. 
Beautiful touch. She just takes the net so early. Defending by Lamsfus. Hey! Luhau unfortunately falling short. Just 13, short at the net. 12. Oh, that's a really well worked point so by Lamsfus and Lohau. 13 all. So Huang Ya Chong having to crouch down to play the shuttle back. But at the net, that look was quite a loose lift. Over 14 13. makes up for it. Just a bit too high here with the cross block. Fifteen. It's important for Lanswiss and Blow how to keep their focus. Try and continue to service over 14, 15. Worry their opponents. This is where they will make their push, Jung and Huang. Try and get on top of the first game. She moves so calmly Service from over. the net, so controlled. 16, 14. Very hard to get past Wang Ya Chong. Second quite high block off Mark's racket. Maybe he just needs to, to do a few more drives to try and get the feeling back. <laughs> nice flick there from Wang Ya Chong, mixing it up. 17, 14. to play behind his opponents. Oh. Hands outside. Oh. Good defense by Isabel. Ooh, clash of racket. Oh, what a save. That was a super Service save over. by Jung Su Wei. Just instinctive. 15. The way Put the shuttle back in play. That one there. So sharp at the net. 19. Anything 15. a little bit loose is just over. <laughs> yeah. And that's why they're world number ones. That's why they're three time world champions. Service over, 16, 19. Okay. Made a good showing for themselves here, the Germans. Keep pushing. 17, 19. Two points ahead and two away. From taking the first game at the top seeds. Now we've got Service three over. game point opportunities. 20 game point 
Apologizes straight away, Huang Yachong. She went all out attack on that return. it off. So on the first time of asking, it's first Jung Su Wei and Huang Ya Chung who take the first game, 21-17. Yeah. Multiple attacks. Jung Su Wei makes no mistake at the end. At the feet of Mark Lamsfus lies the shuttle. And they have the advantage here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
turn it around. That's what they're really good at. Foot wrong at the Blow. moment, uh, the defending champions. Seven quick points as well. They're wasting no time. But if there is inspiration to be taken, let's just have a look back a few game matches ago to PV Sindhu, who was nine Eight love up love. in her match in her second game against Okuhara. And that got turned around in very impressive fashion by the Japanese. Nine love. Nine love now for Jung and Huang. on the shuttle now. Ten, love. Wang Yichong at the front court. <laughs> the game plan that Lamsfus and Luau had in the first game. It's disappeared here. Yeah. Well, just as I say that, to get the first so points the on the scoreboard. One, ten. Yeah. The, the way they can win their points is really finding the gaps at the net. That's really how they get the opportunities. It's too hard to hit through a brick wall from further back in the court. Out. Service out. over. So Eleven. Eleven one. one interval. At the mid-game break. It's Jiang Suwei and Huang Yichong in complete yeah. and all of a sudden command. All or so we can do it again. Yeah? Okay? It's, it's difficult when they do the super screen, but then do more of these where we just... Okay, I, one stay forward, one stay back. Yeah? That's okay. It is so important that we still dare to do the, the high ones. Yeah? And then come in and play a little. <laughs> and then we move. Yeah? You have to come in and put it a little under the net. Make sure it's go behind her, so it's like poking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Poke it behind her. Get one back, and then maybe you find the short one. Yeah. Yeah. Quart we can do this. Two, twenty okay. seconds. Quart two, twenty seconds. Such a positive coach. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Eleven one. He brings really good energy with the high Play. fives and. As a player, I think it'd be really nice to have a coach talk to you like that. Stays calm, tells you exactly what to focus on, a few things, and just brings hope and positivity. And that's exactly what you need when you're facing 12, a scoreline where it all seems dire. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. 12-1, correction. Mm. Sorry, correction. It's 12. Sorry, correction. Yes. No, 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 no. It, they just played I, one point. My correction. They played a point. Yes. 13. Okay. She corrected herself correctly. <laughs> <laughs> it was 13-1 because it was 12-1 before. Yes. <laughs> And then they played a point, and so it's 13-1. That is the right ah! score. 14. The one. last thing Lamsus and Lohau need, unfortunately, is that kind of confusion. Oh. 15-1. He's yeah. really going for anything there. They're just so quick. They're just able to play everything back it just feels like you're running out of options 
16 1. This is turning out to be one way traffic in the second game. And Zhang Suwei and Huang Yachong for sure have found their footing. Service over 2 16. I have to remember that this is their first match out. So it's taken them maybe that first game to get used to things. Yeah, I think since Service Mark's over. surgery, they probably wouldn't 17. have had that much Two. match, it, that many matches, and definitely not many tournaments. So probably this could be their first, the first one back since his surgery. So and what a match to be in! Yeah, just thrown right in the <laughs> deep end. <laughs> But, you know, they had a prim really promising first set. So I think they can, they can be happy with that and just doing what they can now at this one. That's 18-2. A matter of time now for the world number ones to see this through. And Despite the best efforts of Lamsfus and Lohau, especially in that first game, it's really not much they can do because the world number ones have been that strong. As I mentioned, they've just lost five matches this entire season. They're talking about months and months of badminton, and they've lost just the five matches. That's three, been 18. how strong and how dominant Zhang and Huang exactly. have been. I remember watching them, I think, at Suderman Cup, and they were down a decent amount in one of the, I think it was the, one of the, I think it must have been the finals or Service one over. of the matches, 19, and they just were so three. composed in coming back from such a deficit. Yeah, that was, they had played against Indonesia as well as then against Korea, where they, were, they lost the first game, but still found their way back in the Suderman Cup. Yeah, yeah. Service over. Four. And 19. I interviewed them after, actually, in my in my media work, and they they were just set, said at the interval they just said to each other, "It's not that many points. Like we can do it." And then they just they just go out and they just do it. Whereas you know other other Service players over. might be thinking, "Oh, we have this Match gap. We're losing. It's four. so much pressure. We're gonna lose the Sudan Cup for our country," kind of thing but they're just so experienced with all these high quality matches that they've played that they know what they're capable of. And rightly so, Game. they're world number one ones for a reason. And with that, they secure victory. 21-17, 21-4 in the end. Zhang Siwei and Huang Yachong through to the third round. It was a comfortable second game for Match the defending champions. Zheng Xiwei and Wang Yachong. And while they have 17, certainly sent out their intentions over there in the courts of the Royal Arena, they are certainly the pair to beat. That's for sure. And what a way to get their campaign underway. Well, thank you very much to Gronje Somerville for joining me this evening. I hope you enjoyed the badminton, Gronje. Yep, it's been a pleasure. I haven't been able to watch that much while I've been competing, so it's great. Now's your chance. <laughs> yeah, a lot of badminton now coming up. We'll have her back, of course, uh, later on in the week, Gronje Somerville. In the meantime, do remember to join us tomorrow morning for more action from round one and round two. It gets underway at 9 a.m. local time, day three. We'll be back with more. Till then, it's good night and goodbye from me, Moshumi Dat.